Alright guys, my name is the Meta Goblin. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a lot of money very quickly in Kinder Come Deliverance with the hunting skill. Now there's two things you're going to need before you start doing this using this method. First thing you're going to need is a fence. So someone that you can sell stolen goods to because when you basically hunt animals on the Lord's land that is classified as poaching so it is classified as stolen goods. And the second thing you're going to need is a horse. So, the first thing is very easy, a fence. Um, so the millers are kind of the crooks in this game, and you can definitely sell uh, stolen goods to them. You're going to have to progress through the quest line. Um, I don't know what the quest line's called, but basically you talk to this guy. If you look on the map, I'll show you very quickly. If you got, if you saved the woman at this, in the prologue, though, um, you automatically obviously get a bed here, and you can automatically basically live at the Rate Mill. A rate Mill, you know, you've got Rate here, and it's just a little bit... Um, Never west of the uh, of the mill. So is someone on my webcam there? I don't know. No, it's not actually. So progress through this guy's quest. You have to do a bit of stealing. Have to go and steal something from the execution executioner and a few other things. And then obviously you eventually get the um, option to sell your stuff. Another thing. Um, he's he isn't the only guy you can sell your stuff to because obviously he's going to run out of money eventually. You can also sell your things to the miller at this location here. So if you see the mill there, um, all you have to do is go a little bit up the stream, and there's another miller just just here. As you can see, I'm trying to hover over it, but it's not. It just says activity giver. Okay, there you go. So there's another miller there you can sell your stuff to. And to get a horse, um, that's very easy. All you have to do is progress through the main storyline a little bit. You get to a point where you go out hunting into the woods with... Um, one of the lords, and you have a bit of banter with him, and then he gets captured, and then you rescue him. Um, I've just realised I've given away a bit of a spoiler there. But anyway, after that quest, after you've rescued him, the lord just decides to give you a horse. Um, the horse is called Pebbles. Uh, it's kind of like a fairly low value horse, so you can probably get better ones from the horse trader um, if you saved up enough money, but uh, you know it's a good starting horse. And obviously, you can move. The reason why we get a horse is because you can move loot to the horse so you can stay out uh, in the woods hunting more. So for hunting, you're gonna have to you're gonna want to pick the areas where there's a hunting ground. So if you see here, there's a hunting ground here, deer hunting spot. But I think the best place, honestly, is just a bit north of Newoff. If you see here, Newoff is here. Um, you just go a little bit north along the road, and you've got a deer hunting ground here, and you've also got a boar hunting ground. So what you can do is keep running between these two areas here, the deer one and the boar one. Just keep running between these two areas, you'll get lots of boar and lots of deer. So before you start using this method, um, I'd also recommend completely clearing out your inventory. There's um, in the miller area, in the miller's house, you can just, there's a stash box. Wherever you can find any stash box, you know, completely empty your inventory and uh, clear it up. But maybe keep some stuff on your horse just in case you need it, in case you get into um, trouble. And obviously bring your horse to clear his inventory as well. And then you can get to um, hunting. Obviously, right now I've um, I can see a hare. Also, uh, definitely recommend killing the hares because um, you can sell their meat for quite a little bit as well. I'm absolutely crap at archery. Um, I think it's because I'm trying to talk at the same time. So, obviously, boars are a little bit difficult though. You're gonna have to increase your archery skill a little a little bit before you can start one shotting boars. Obviously, try and get the best bow and arrows um, available to you. So obviously what I'm going to do now is um, turn my arrow back, and that's a lot of meat, so the weight of all this together is 0 0.2 times 28, so that's quite a lot. But as you can see, it's 5.8 gold each. So I've just picked up all that hair meat, let's go to food. I picked up all that hair meat. I do actually have infinite encumbrance mod because I'm kind of cheating, but oh well. Um, and all you have to do is press X and you move it to your horse. You move it all to your horse. And as, as you can see, if you go to your horse, your horse can carry a lot of weight. As you can see right there. So, I mean, a horse can carry loads. <laughs> so, it's pretty much infinite uh, carry weight on your horse, nearly. I don't, it'll take you a while before you get to um, the uh, maximum capacity of the horse. So, I'm going to uh, quickly kill this boar. It also helps, obviously, when you get um, high level in hunter, it, hunter, whatever you call it, you get more perks to make you less visible when you're um, in the woods. But as you can see, um, the food I've just picked up there will be massively heavy. Um, 
this if I didn't have the infinite encumbrance thing this would probably just max out my carry weight straight away but obviously you can just that's 16 gold each so 16 gold times 184 and you just move that to your horse and it's as simple as that so I mean I was literally recording them for about one minute so in a minute let's see how much money I made talk to the miller and I will sell all my meat um, let's have a look So, go to food, and I picked up hair meat. Even when the food is off, you can still sell it, but obviously you want to try and get back as fast as possible before it goes off, because it's worth a little bit more, more money when it's not off. Um, but already that's 11 gold. Sell all that. So we're at 73 gold now. We've also got, I've got some venison there, but I didn't pick that up. Wait, where's the uh, boar meat? Oh yeah, I moved it to my horse, so. So, like, what I'd recommend doing, because your carry weight is going to be really high, getting close to, get close to the vendor, obviously, before you, uh, talk to him, because you, you're not going to be able to move. So if I didn't have in the, uh, mod, I would not be able to move right now, and that's fine. So, always bore me, let's sell this. 184 pieces, 1k, <laughs> right? Just like that. Um... Up his hair meat as well, 56, 1.2k. So really, you, the money is really in the boar meat, the venison, and another thing you can do, which sometimes I, I should make a separate video for it, but you can go and kill all the um, cows on, the, on this farm and get loads of beef very quickly. But I'll make a separate video for that. But anyway, that's how you make uh, money very quickly using hunting. I've got 1.2k there. How long do we spend? Like half a minute hunting some boar. Um, so yeah, but obviously, another great thing about this method is um, you can level your archery very quickly as well, and you can level your hunting skill, and your vitality, and all that kind of stuff, and your strength. Um, but you probably will need to advance your archery a little bit first on the targets before you start doing any good damage. And you also need to increase your strength and agility stats so that you can use high damage bows to actually kill the balls in one shot. But anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, enjoy my... Uh, I've got 14k right now, because I've been using this method uh, just kind of consistently like that. If you're on PC, I'd recommend getting the uh, mod where the vendors have more money as well, just to make things a little bit easier. But anyway, my name is the Metagoblin, until my next video, ciao.